Hi, I'm Steph from Renovation Baby and today I want to give you a quick video of my Dyson Cyclone V10 animal. We actually purchased this back in September last year and um, I wanted to give you a quick video to show you what we thought of it or a few months down the line. I've got three children and a very hairy dog and he produces a lot of hair and they produce a lot of mess. <laughs> so over the years I've reviewed and tried a few um, of vacuums myself um, and so I decided this time I was going to invest in a Dyson and give it a really good review and put it to its test. So well, I needed to get the animal version I 100% believe that the animal version of these hoovers are definitely worth investing if you do have one. So it all comes nicely packed. I purchased mine from Curry's because um, they were a good price at the time and easy to get to during lockdown. So you must make sure you charge it up before, as soon as you get it unboxed and leave it to charge. There is actually even a sticker on there to tell you that you need to fully charge it before you even use it. Um, so very easy to charge up. We have actually now got ours connected on the wall. So it's, it comes with a wall mounting bracket so we can leave it up on the wall, plugged in, and then we just slot it back into the slot and it keeps it fully charged, which is absolutely brilliant to use. So I found it very easy to set up. Um, you've got the actual main compartment. Um, you've got the long hose no nozzle. And then you've got the various different attachments on the bottom. So you have the main, this main one here, which has got a very flexible sort of end to it. So it's really good at getting in and out all the little cracks and no nooks around the house. and. I wouldn't ever have a corded hoover again. Like I absolutely love having a, a cordless one. It's so easy and quick, you know, when the kids spill something quick, just get it up, clean it up and off you go. And I absolutely love it. So this was the first time of me actually using it. So yeah, I thought I'd let you hear how sort of loud it was in that. So it was really good. As you can see, it sort of, you know, glides across the carpet really easily. It also has a funny little noise when you uh, let go of the thing. So I'll let you listen to that now. It also has three um, suction settings, maximum, medium and um, low. And as you can see, look how much hair as soon as I turned it to um, maximum that it picked up. However, I can't move it along the carpet when it's on maximum. So I have to keep it on minimum or medium. Um, but yeah, this is after I had vacuumed across the whole of the carpet and I was really impressed on how it brought it up. So yeah, so I absolutely think it's amazing. Now look how much hair was in here. This is like one going over, one quick going over. Now that is a lot of hair. <laughs> That's a lot of dog hair. Um, but this consistently keeps picking up lots of dog hair. It's absolutely brilliant. So to empty it, you literally just press the button here, hold it over the bin, which I find really important to be able to have a vacuum that does this because it leaves, stops all the dust flying around. You literally slide that little bit here and look, it pretty much all came out past this bit. <laughs> I find this really important to make sure that the dust isn't all flying around the house and, and especially with allergies and stuff, it keeps it very clean. So as you can see here, I'm showing you sort of in the nooks and crannies and around here, um, it, it's not fabulous at getting into these little bits. However, you know, you can take, it's got various different attachments that come with it for standard. So you can change, use this one to do all your main cleaning and for a quick going around every day, it's brilliant. And then, it, the way it twists the head is just makes it super easy to be able to get in all these little areas and it pretty much comes up pretty much all of it. If you want a good proper clean you could change your attachment and then add on something like this and then it would get in all your little areas and then this is all your skirt and boards and stuff like that you can use the brush for it. So yeah it just makes it very very easy to get in all the different little nooks and crannies. So it also um, yeah here we go I've got my husband's dust from when we were doing some work in the utility room so and then look how well that brings it up it's like all disappeared so 
I was using it here with this long attachment, but you also have got, I mean, this was out anything on the end and I managed to get up to my vaulted ceiling on the roof. Um, there's also more attachments that you could use onto the end of this. As you can see, it's not like a pointy end, it's flat. So use that and then you add even higher. Now you need to make sure you clean out the filters. This is the filter like this. You just take it out, very easy to assist it. You wash it under the sink, under the tap. It's got actually like a little picture of a tap on there to show you. Give it a really good clean out. Um, it actually will tell you if the hoover is so full up, the filter is so full up it needs cleaning out. Um, however, try and keep on top of it so that it doesn't, and it just, it's, you can actually tell when it's dirty because it, it's really difficult to, it doesn't pick up anything. So give it a good old drive for 24 hours and um, you're done. So we're absolutely over the moon with this. I'm so happy. I mean, like I said, we've had it in summertime last year and it's brilliant. Children use it. I use it. It's easy to use. Wouldn't wouldn't have any other hoover now. I've, I've been converted to a Dyson. So thank you very much for watching. Um, click below to see the blog post and any more information. Thank you very much.